Welcome friends, I'm Miss Melissa and I'm going to be doing your weekly devotion this week. I have my boys here to help. Houston. Houston. Hold on. Hold on. So we are going to talk to you today a little bit about prayer. So boys, before we get started, let's kind of go over what prayer is. So how would you define prayer? What do you think prayer is? It's where you just like um, talk to God. Okay. Through like, like you don't have to like talk out loud. Yeah. Sometimes it's kind of like private. Yeah, it's like a private conversation with God. So that's kind of what prayer is. Why do we pray? Why do you think it's important for us to pray? <laughs> you don't know why is it important to pray? So, um, because it worships God. It does. It worships. And you, like, you can like ask Him to become like a Christian. Okay, so that's how we talk to Him at the beginning when we ask to become a Christian. Okay, so some other reasons we pray is first, the Bible tells us to pray. That's our communication with God. And if you want to be a friend with somebody, how do you do that? You talk to them, you hang out with them. Maybe you do fun things with them. Well, it's the same way with God. When we want to have a relationship with God, we need to talk to Him. We need to listen. We need to talk. We need to hang out with Him, spend some time. So it's important for us as much as we can to pray and have those conversations with God. So let's look. I'm going to read two verses from the Bible um, that are two of my favorite verses about prayer, and then we'll kind of dig in and talk a little bit more. So the first is James 5.16. My James Houston here. James 5.16 says, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So I love that verse because it tells us why to pray and what prayer will do. It says that prayers will heal people and they're powerful and effective. So we know that that's true because the Bible tells us so. So the next verse that I love is Philippians 4, 6, and it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So this is kind of telling us when to pray. So it's saying in any situation, so maybe if you're scared, even if you're happy, maybe you're nervous or anxious, or just don't understand why something's happening, that's when the Bible tells us to pray says in every situation pray to God and present our request to God so does God know everything about us yes he does right so he knows what we're scared about and he knows what makes us scared at night or worried but he still likes us to talk to him and tell him so it says um, present your request to God so if there's something that we need um, or something that we really want to happen, that's when we, we present our request to God and we pray to God. Does that make a little bit more sense? Mm -hmm. So friends at home, we are going to do a craft, and this is a fun craft you can do at home, and we are going to use our fingers to help us remember who to pray for and when to pray or why to pray for that person, okay? One, two, three, four, five. You can count. Yay! Yay. So, <laughs> so we're going to paint our fingers. So if you at home have some paint or even maybe some markers would work if you do it fast enough. We're going to paint each finger a different color and then we're going to use our paper and press it down. And then we're going to go over each finger in a way to um, help that finger remember who to pray for. Okay? And this is a good way to um, keep in mind at home who to pray for. And another important thing real quick before we get started is finding a time to pray. It doesn't have to be the same time every day, but the important part is to try to make time every day. Maybe it's when you first wake up, maybe it's before you lay down at night. It doesn't have to be the same, but finding that time to pray to God. Deal? Deal? Okay, so let's get started. I am going to paint. I'll start with holding. So let's hold your hand out. I am going to paint each finger a different color. It's going to tickle. Is that tickle? Yes. <laughs> okay. And so then we're going to press it down. You can also paint the palm of your hand a different color if you want to. We do that. Well, I only brought five colors with me today. We can do a favorite color. And then I'll show you how it can help us pray. Okay, now press your hand down on that piece of paper. Good job. Press it down. Okay. Pull it up. Uh, let's press that thumb, just the thumb down again. Good job. Good job. Okay. I'm going to give you some wet wipes. 
His you palm can, is missing. His palm is missing, but we're going to fix that. So you work on trying to get that paint off while I paint Mr. Houston, okay? Okay, Houston. So let's paint your thumb. Okay, and then blue. Blue used to be your favorite color. Mm -hmm, until red and black came on. Ooh, that's all goopy. Okay, now press that down real good. Make some good fingerprints. Good job, Holden. <clears throat> okay. There you go. There you go. Clean that up. So what we have is some fingers, and if you want to fill in the palm, you most certainly, you can. You can fill in this palm with a different color or even just outline it, which is what we're gonna do. I am going to outline your little hand. So when you are finished, you My should have, that holds. you should have a, that's, that, that's mine, his I remember. When you are finished, you should have each color uh, each finger a different color and then you can outline it or you can finish painting it in at home make a fun little craft You can even cut it out um, And so we're gonna go over each finger and we're gonna talk about how that can remind us to pray and who to pray for And then I'm gonna maybe give you a few ideas of where to put Where to put the hand so you can remember to see it every day So first find your thumb point to your thumb Hang on the thumb okay so your thumb is closest to your heart so hold up your actual hand you see how your thumb is closest to your heart so let when we look at our thumb let's remember to pray for those that are closest to us so maybe our family and our friends maybe our brothers and sisters so when we look at our thumb each day we can remember to pray for the friends or the family that's closest to us does that sound good what's the next finger your pointer finger. The pointer finger, that's right. So when I think about a pointer finger, I think about it gives directions, right? Like I'm pointing at you, I'm telling you what to do. So this is a good way to remember to think about all those people that teach us things. Our teachers, our coaches, maybe people who give direction, even like doctors. So when we think about our pointer finger, it's good to think about all those people who are teaching and leading us. Even our leaders in our church, it's good to pray for them because they are leading us as well, our Sunday school teachers. Okay, our next is our middle finger. Our middle finger is the tallest finger. So when we see our middle finger, we can remember to pray for the people who are the highest, the government, our president, our governor, our mayor, even our police department. So the middle finger is the tallest, so we can remember to pray for the people who are the highest, the people who are having to make all those hard decisions. Okay, the next is what? What's this finger called? <laughs> the, ring ring finger. Finger. The, ring the ring finger. So did you know the ring finger is the weakest um, finger? It's hard getting it up here. Yes. If you stick up your pinky, it's hard to hold it. You're only your pinky up without this. Yes. Finger. So and your ring finger is yeah. your weakest finger. That's so why this you can is, put it up. This is how we can remember to pray for the people who are maybe in need the most. So this is your ring finger. So maybe the people who um, are homeless or sick or the people that are just going through a hard time. Just the people who maybe aren't as strong right now as they once was. So that's a good way to help remember to pray for them. Okay, the last one is our pinky okay. finger. Hold yeah. up your pinky fingers. Cute little pinky fingers. So the pinky finger is the smallest. So this is a good way at the end of your prayer to remember to pray for yourself. We put all these other people before us and then maybe we take time to pray for ourselves because God likes to hear what's on our heart as well. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. So do you think you can remember those? Yes. Our I'm thumbs, the closest to our heart. <clears throat> Listen, paint. our pointer finger is the people who teach and lead us. Our middle finger is the people who are in charge. The ring finger are the people maybe that are sick or lonely. And our pinky finger is all about us. So this is, um, what I was going to say is you could cut this out, put it maybe on the mirror in your bathroom. So every morning when you brush your teeth, you can see it and it'll help you remember to pray for those people. Or maybe put it um, up by your bed or even on the wall in your room. It can be on the fridge. On the fridge. That's a good idea. So that when you see it, you can remember all these specific people to pray for.
Does that sound like a good idea? Thanks for being with us this week as we talked about prayer. So this week, um, if you make a craft, make sure to post it online and tag the church so that we can see it. And we will be back next week with another weekly devotion. Yes. Do it up. Do it up. Bye. Bye. Bye.